Okay, let's get started. It looks like everyone's here, so we're ready to go. Um, so thank you everybody for joining us uh, in these precious after school hours today. We really appreciate you giving up your time to join us and have a listen to um, our presentation about Mon Réseau Ma Vie. So my name is Kelly Ronan. I work at Pearson Publishers, who is, the, we're the publishers behind this classroom resource. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Barbara Melodic. And uh, we're just, we're gonna give you a short presentation about this resource and a uh, demonstration. I'm going to show you the online component of the resource. So I'm just gonna turn my camera off while I'm presenting, just to make things go a little bit smoother. Uh, from a presenter point of view. Um, if you have any questions at any time, please feel free to use the chat feature that comes with this uh, Zoom webinar. It's found at the bottom of your screen. And uh, Barbara can let me know if there's any questions that need to be answered that come up in the chat. So let's just get started. We have a few slides to get through. Um, so today we're going to talk very briefly about the components and the structure of Mon Réseau Ma Vie. And I will also show you the resource and we'll have a look at all of the features. So I do just want to first start off with our national uh, land acknowledgement. Pearson Canada acknowledges the history of the land on which we all gather. It is a combination of treaty and traditional unceded territory and Métis homeland. We acknowledge the many Inuit, Métis, and First Nations whose footsteps have marked the land where each of you currently resides or are visiting. We also recognize the land as an act of reconciliation and gratitude. Indigenous peoples' connection to the land teaches us about their inherent responsibility to protect and respect Mother Earth. With this acknowledgement, we honor their relatives who have been buried here, as well as those who live and work here today. Pearson Canada strives for respectful partnerships with all the peoples of this country as we search for collective healing and true reconciliation in honor and honor of this beautiful land. So I do like to start off uh, these presentations to really just show you our author team and to let you know that our author team is made up of experts. So you'll see the list here. You are going to see FSL teachers. You're going to see coaches, facilitators, CEFR experts, assessment experts, and differentiation experts. So Moise Ma Vie is divided into modules, which offers students a variety of purposeful language learning situations to advance their speaking skills, it's aimed to facilitate more spontaneous conversations and messages and to provide greater ease and confidence with understanding and interacting with other speakers. So what you see here on the slide across the top are the modules in Moreso Ma Vie Level 1, Moreso Ma Vie 1. And across the bottom are the modules for Moreso Ma Vie 2. So each 40 page learning module is based on functional language, real life themes and action oriented tasks. In each module, there are three different social contexts, context A, B, A, C, and they're focused on the same learning goal as students work towards action oriented tasks. So what you see here on the slide are the texts listed on the left hand column which are taken from Maurice Ma Vie 2, Module 1, On Reste en Bonne Santé. So it gives you an idea of the type of texts that uh, you're going to see in, for, for example, Level 2, and what the communication focus is for each of these texts. Sorry, my mouse isn't working. There we go. Um, so learning is obviously highly interactive, especially learning a second language, and students we know are social agents. So this program is built on the guiding principles of the CEFR, which you can see there in the blue box on the right, the Common European Framework for Reference. 
So these are the principles that are built into our program. Um, this program focuses on what students can do and it builds on that as they go forward. So uh, this, is, this slide is just as a reminder that really the basis and foundation of this program is CEFR. Students are prompted to engage with texts in a way that asks them to understand the text, challenge the text, and critique the content. So th this program pro provides a variety of texts which encourage students to engage in different ways with the different texts. So students are asked to assess and analyze their own learning as part of the instruction. So this slide just shows you uh, a, a very small sample of the variety of texts that you will see as part of the program. So we were showing you a graphic text, a, an authentic menu from a, from a restaurant, and a text messaging, uh, you know, cell phone text messaging. So students will be given opportunities throughout the program to demonstrate an appreciation and an understanding of Francophone cultures, and also to make connections to their own culture and their own community in which they live. So uh, the next few slides are going to show you some of the support structure that is built into the student texts. So first of all, we have this page called Pour Communiquer. So to support interactions that are structured and guided and increasingly spontaneous, Morizo Mavi provides students with a cours communique section on each task of, of the performance task pages within the context. So students can here, they can find a variety of sentence starters and expressions and terms that they can use to communicate in daily real life situations. Another text support that students will find are these strategy pages. I'm sorry that it's really small, so you, pro you probably can't read the actual words, but these are strategies for before, during, and after each of the strands of the, of the curriculum. And of course, the four strands are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So these strands are accessible in each text, and they're also recommended throughout the lesson in the lesson in the teacher lesson uh, plans, the teaching notes. And these strategies are used and reused throughout the modules. It's not that students will only use each one once. And then lastly, here uh, what, what uh, another support we wanted to show you about was the dictionnaire visuel. So this offers student support when they're reading the texts independently. I do want to point out that there are no English definitions in our visual dictionary. Um, <laughs> these visual, we, we use visuals here to support the student's understanding of the more challenging words. And while other words are described to use language using, using language that the students already know. So uh, it's not in English. French language uh, dictionary. So just a few quick words here, a few slides about the teacher guide itself, the instructional practice that has gone into uh, building the teacher material. So we've created a curriculum correlation uh, as expected. So you can use these charts as your long range plans if you need them. So all of the strands of listening, speaking, reading, and writing are assessed in every module. Um, and every expectation of the curriculum is met if you cover two of the four modules. So you don't need to cover all four modules in one school year, as long as you cover two. Um, and so in, in the teacher guide, in the lesson plans, the lessons are meant to be 30 to 40 minutes long. And most modules are about 48 lessons long, which covers somewhere between nine to 12 weeks of instruction in one module. So uh, here's just some examples of learning goals and success criteria that you will come across in your teacher guide. Um, we offer th these types of language uh, in English and French in the teacher guide. So, we encourage you to share the learning goals and the success criteria of every lesson 
uh, with your students. This is to be encouraged. Um, in fact, we provide you uh, with some of this language on slides that you can um, that you can project as well. And the lesson plans themselves are provided in a three-part lesson model, which uh, is shown here. Instead of saying before, during, and after in the three-part lesson model, we say minds on um, action and consolidation. Uh, we provide in the uh, lesson plans in the teacher notes, we provide teaching tips throughout. Uh, you'll find these in the margins and uh, in the running text of the, of the teaching notes. And they, they're simple teaching tips about classroom management or differentiation, how to add some challenge, how to provide support for students. Um, so lots of extra information over and above the actual lesson plans, the teaching notes. Um, I do want to have just a quick word about what we what is called the gradual release of responsibility. So this is an overarching framework um, that we have placed over our lesson plans. And, it, and I'll show you in a minute when we look at the teaching notes um, where you'll find this. But essentially, the, the, a, a lesson is really meant to move the responsibility starting from the teacher. The responsibility is all with the teacher in modeling and a shared practice. And then we gradually move the responsibility over to the students through guided practice and then finally independent practice. So that's, um, you will see these uh, acronyms, M for modeling, SP for shared practice in which the teacher and students are sharing together, GP for guided practice in which the students are doing uh, the work and the practice but the teacher is there as a guide. And then finally, IP for independent practice in which the student is basically working on, the students are working on their own, either independently or in small groups or pairs. So this gradual release of responsibility is evident and built into every lesson. And I've already mentioned the strategies, um, or at least I think I have. Um, the, so every lesson is built on these strategies. Um, and so I just, we pulled a few out of the teacher guide just to show you some examples. So, je pense à mes expériences uh, personnelles, j'utilise un modèle, je fais des prédictions. So, these are strategies for listening, speaking, and reading and writing, and they come up throughout. Uh, every lesson uh, plan obviously has to include an assessment plan, every teacher guide. So, uh, we do have amazing assessment charts that you're going to find in the teacher resource. Uh, they're very clear and explicit, um, and it really shows you, showcases the assessment for learning, as learning, and of learning, and it's all outlined in the teacher guide itself. Okay, so let's leave the PowerPoint slides for now and have a look at the online resource itself. So before I do, uh, well, let me just jump over there and get to the online e-text and just Check in with Barbara to see if there's any questions or anything that I need to address in the chat. Nope. There haven't been any questions um, yet, Kelly. Um, but if there are and you have any questions, now is a great time to ask. You can either ask out loud by raising your hand or you can type your questions in the chat. Yep, you're more than welcome to open your microphone and uh, actually let me make sure that you're allowed to open the microphone. I'm doing that right now. Able to do that, yeah. And, and so please do speak up at any time and, and use the chat as well, for sure. So we're just gonna spend a few minutes now looking at the online component. So of course, uh, being a new uh, modern resource, uh, Pearson has published Mon Réseau Ma Vie in two ways. We've published it in print resources, so you can purchase print student books or, or and or you can buy digital resources which are online. So I'm going to show you the digital and um, show you how it's set up and where you can find all of the content. So 
Uh, this is our eText platform. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to use it, but I will show you some of the basics. So the first thing is this table of contents icon over here on the left. And when I open the table of contents, this is a good opportunity for you to see all of the content that's included uh, when you do purchase the digital um, online access. So as a teacher, you have access to all four modules. I'm showing them here where my mouse is hovering. Here's module one, on est en forme, on est capable, on part à l'aventure, and on se débrouille. So those are the four student modules that we've included here in one online e-text. And then down below, we have a guide de démarrage, which is a folder that has some help content in there. And further below that, we have another folder called Coin de l'enseignant. So that is the teacher's corner. So this, uh, let me just actually open this folder. I'll click it. And this is where teachers find all of their teacher material. You do, when you purchase the teacher guide, you get it in print format. So our trusty and familiar binders, teacher binders, but we also provide it to you here in a digital format so that you have everything all in one place. So if I click here, program overview in the teacher's corner, I'm just going to click that and show you that a PDF document opens in a new window. And this is your overall program overview. This is all of the background information and foundational uh, info that went into the building of this program. Um, it's very much worth your time to read this when, if you do purchase it, because it really does give you the background information that you need in order to teach the program. So the guiding principles, uh, we give you uh, some information about the overall the components, you know, the student text, the teacher guide, uh, we give you a bit of a walkthrough and lots of information in here about assessment and the breakdown of the lessons themselves. The lessons are not in this document. That's in the next document I'm going to show you. Instructional framework here in the program overview. So all of this great program related information is found in the program overview, which is in the teacher's corner. And then the next um, icon and the next uh, document here is the teaching notes in your teacher's corner. So I'm going to click that and again, PDF document opens and these are your lesson plans for each of the modules. So I'm just going to open up module one and we can have a quick look at the lesson plans. These are your step-by-step uh, -step scripted lesson plans for each of the modules. The, it starts off with a module overview, tells you all about the components of the module and what you're going to need in order to teach the module and the breakdown of the uh, lesson goals and your assessment. I'm just gonna scroll past all of this and get into the actual lesson plans. Here we go. Here is context uh, lessons one, two, and three which uses student book pages four five called Mes Préférences. So you're going to be spending three lessons using student book pages four and five. And here are your actual lesson, step-by-step um, -step lesson plans. It's really kind of a recipe, instructions. It's quite scripted, but we do understand that at the beginning when you're first using a new program, you're going to want this kind of script and this step-by-step follow along. And then as you get comfortable and more familiar with the resource, you're going to make these lessons your own. You're going to skip parts and change other parts and combine some lessons and really make it work for your students at whatever level they're at. Um, but at the beginning, you probably are going to want to follow this along just to get a sense of how the lessons go. So you can clearly see here the three-part lesson plan, uh, the before, the during, and after, which is, where is the after? Have I been there? It is consolidation. So we call it minds on action and consolidation. And then don't forget that on top of all of this is the gradual release of responsibility. So where we indicate using these acronyms here, 
whether it is modeling or that's the M, we've got some shared practice. The next step is guided practice. And then finally, independent practice. So that's all indicated in your teaching notes. Um, I'm going to leave that window open. I'm going to go back to the e-text and let you know that in your Coin de l'Enseignant folder still, uh, we also provide you with the fiche. And that's our term for worksheets. These are the, uh, the line masters, the worksheets that go with the lessons. So in your lesson plan, it will say, for example, you know, distribute fiche d'activité 1 or fiche d'activité 3 or whatever. And you can find all of those here in, uh, in this document. These are Word documents. I just clicked on the first one there, fiche d'activité 1, and it downloaded a Word document to my computer. So I'm just going to open it up. Now, these are Word documents that you can modify and make changes to and save them to your computer for future reference. Um, if you don't make any changes to it, then you just leave it in the online environment and access it that way. Now, these documents can be emailed to students. They can be put into Google Classroom, Google Drive, or you know, Microsoft Drive, whatever you're using to share documents out to your students. Or of course you can print them old school, print them and hand them out. So- Kelly, uh, there was, Kelly, there was also a button that if you didn't want to open the Word, you could print off or you could use the PDFs, right? Yes, for sure, yeah. The documents, when you open up the Le Fiche, you have access to the documents in a Word format, or if you scroll down just a little bit further, we give you the same documents in a PDF format. So obviously PDF is not modifiable. So if you're the type of teacher that doesn't want to change anything and just use it exactly as our authors have written it, then by all means use the PDF format and distribute them that way. In the same way, it's still a document that can be sent around um, through Google or through email or through printing. Uh, it's just not modifiable when it's PDF. Okay, so that is the teacher's corner. And let's now have a quick look at the actual student book, the student resources. So I'm going to just show you that you can um, scroll through these pages by using the arrow keys. Now you can, as a teacher, you have access to this digital resource. You can project this in class during your class time so that uh, you don't have to have student access if you don't want it. You can just use your teacher access. I'm going to use the settings here to switch it over to double page view, just because when you're looking at a print book and that's the way these books were designed, you would like to look at the left and right page at the same time. So in this digital version, you can project double page view and now as I turn the pages uh, and advance the book, you will see that it's advancing two pages at a time. So we've taken all of the student book pages they, and we've put them in this platform. We haven't changed them or reflowed the content in any way. It does exactly match the print resources, except we've added some content. We've added digital media. To these, to these online versions. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see. I'm going to use the settings button to zoom in, uh, just to make them a little bit bigger and show you these icons that we've placed on the pages. So up at the top here, we've got student icons and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and show you some teacher icons. So I'm going to start here with the teacher icons. What we've done is we've taken all of the teaching lesson plans that what we call the teacher notes, and we've split them up into lesson by lesson. And we've put them right here on the page. So if you were to open your teaching notes here on this page, this student book pages four and five, 
you will see the lesson plans for lessons one, two, and three only. It's not the entire teacher guide. It's, it's cut up, uh, broken down into lesson by lesson, provided right here on the page. And then the next teacher icon here is slides, the diapo. So I'm going to click that and show you that a PowerPoint file just downloaded to my computer. I'm going to open it and show you that our author team has put together slides for you, a teacher, to project during this particular lesson. And we give you a different slide deck for every lesson of the program. So these slides contain, for example, the I can statements, the success criteria. So here's one place that you can uh, project this for students and really go through and say, you know, by the end of this lesson, these lessons, you're going to be able to do these following things. You know, it's really quite empowering for students to see what they're going to accomplish. And then other slides might be strategy slides. So here is a slide for you to project to put up a je fais des prédictions. So, qu'est-ce que tu vois? Je vois. And this is where students will uh, fall in on their uh, mot familier, their familiar terms that they already know, fruit or banane, things like that. Um, here's another strategy slide about j'utilise des mots familiers. We have some sentence starters, some questions and answers here to just support students. These are all part of your lesson plans. And uh, at different times in the lesson, you can project these slides just to support your lesson. So I'm just going to go back. We're back on the e-text now. Can I just say one thing? Sorry, Kelly. No. I just wanted to mention, though, that if you did want to, for whatever reason, add to those slides, you could, you could add to the slide deck uh, or change what's already existing however you want, but then you would have to save it to your desktop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Sorry. these the PowerPoint slides are modifiable for sure. Yeah. Thank you. And then the last icon here for teachers down at the bottom of the page is les fiches. So these are PDF documents which are the worksheets that are specific to these lessons. So in a nutshell, on the pages themselves, you find any of your lesson related content. And if you want the, the teacher content for the whole program, you would go over to your table of contents and open your teacher corner and find all of the same content, but in large documents that, because that refers to the whole program. So let's look at the student digital media that we've added to these pages. I'm going to scroll up to the top and show you that this, this lesson has some listening activities. You will get familiar with these icons as you see them uh, more regularly. But this icon is an audio file, an audio listening activity. So I'm just going to click it. We'll listen to it very quickly. Tu te sens timide après l'école tous les jours. Une part de céréales est une bonne collation. Rien de plus. So this is really just one example of a listening activity. We've got them throughout the program. So students will be listening to an audio file. They might be following along on their student book pages. They might be uh, working with a, a fish or fish activity, for example. And all of this is explained in your lesson plans and your teaching notes about how and when to play these audio files. So this particular lesson has two. It has one called Mes Collations Préférées and it has a second listening activity called Je Veux Cette Collation. So all of these audio listening activities can be found using this icon on the pages. So I'm just going to turn the page. Now we'll look at a few more icons. Um, so here we are now on a new lesson. Um, the, these are new student book pages. Down at the bottom, you find your teacher icon. So you've got your lesson notes, your slide, and your line masters that refer to these new lessons. And up at the top, we've got new student icons. 
So we've got a new listening activity called Au Restaurant. We have, what's the next icon? A video. We have a video in this lesson. So I'm going to click the video and you'll see that it opens. I'm going to click play and we'll listen to just a quick minute or two of this video. Okay, I'm just going to pause it there. So these are videos that are content related videos. They are explained thoroughly uh, in the lesson notes, in the teaching notes. Um, our author team uh, has, has written these videos. We filmed these videos in Canadian classrooms. So you're going to be seeing Canadian students in our videos. You and your students are going to be hearing different accents throughout the course of this program. And that's on purpose. We purposely chose um, students to participate that had different sounding French accents. So some of them might be French first language students. Some might be students who speak French with a bit of an Italian accent maybe or an English sounding accent. So it all we've got a wide variety. And of course that's all on purpose so that your students can see themselves and hear themselves represented in uh, our material. Uh, there is a little bit of support built into these videos that I did want to just highlight. And that's down at the bottom here in the player. You can adjust the speed of the playback of these videos. So you can slow down the playback instead of constantly pressing pause, rewind, pause, rewind um, to hear every sentence, you can just really slow it down quite a bit um, to really support your students as they're learning. So that's the video. And the next icon on the page here is an activity, uh, an interactive activity. So I'm just going to click that. It opens in its own window. And we have a variety of sort of, you know, drag and drop, fill in the blank, multiple choice, um, uh, card sorts. We have all different types of interactive activities. And again, these are built around the content of the lesson. They're uh, usually multiple pages of, in each activity. So down at the bottom, keep an eye on the uh, arrow keys to let you know how many pages are included in these video, in these uh, activities. And um, I do want to let you know, there's no grade reporting for these. These are meant as practice. These are meant as engagement. So you would do these with your whole class or you might set up some centers in your classroom and uh, small groups, or you know, if you had a couple of iPads or a computer and a couple of laptops, um, you can do them during class time. If you haven't purchased student access for students to log in, if you've only purchased the teacher access, then all you can do is project these. Um, students can't log in at home if they don't have their own access. But of course, if you have purchased student access, they get access to all of this. Students log in on their own computers and they have access to all of these pages and all of the media that we've embedded on these pages. So the audio file, the video, the interactive games. Um, and we have two more icons to show you. One is culture. So these are little what we call culture capsules. It's just a short paragraph or two that teachers can read aloud to their students and discuss. There's always images that come with these culture capsules. And really it is just a quick snapshot of something related to Francophone culture and the content of the lesson. So this lesson is about snacks and food. So we've given you a little bit here about these adults en yes. So these are what do teenagers who live in the Antilles eat what's their preferred food um, and snacks. So that's a little bit of culture that can be found embedded on the page. And then one more icon is on the next page. So here we are a new lesson, new 
listening activity, new interactive game, and another video. So this one is a, a language demo video. It is a short grammar lesson. So let's just have a minute. On est enfant. J'observe la langue et j'apprends la négation. As-tu la confiance nécessaire pour exprimer la négation? Voici des explications pour t'aider. J'aime la tomate. C'est une phrase affirmative. Je n'aime pas. Okay, we're just going to pause it there. So this is just another type of video. It's not a content related video. It is a short little mini lesson about one aspect or one element of grammar. So we haven't provided whole grammar based lessons, but we have provided some little supports here and there for students because we've heard and we know that every now and again, a little bit of extra support is never uh, a bad thing. So we've provided them here as these little mini two minute grammar videos. So in a nutshell, uh, that's the e-text. We've, uh, let me just zoom out a little bit here so you can see the whole page again. Um, so we've taken the student book pages, we've embedded them in this uh, projectable format online. You log in. As a teacher, you have access to your teacher material in these icons down at the bottom. And you have access to extra student media that we've added using icons towards the top. So those would be listening activities, videos, interactive games, um, and language demo. So that's it. That's what we wanted to show you for today. Uh, let me just turn my camera back on here and um, see, are there any questions? Is there anything you'd like to see? Anything you'd like to know? Does anyone right now in the chat? Okay, you're more than welcome to use the chat or open your microphones. Okay, so if not, sounds pretty quiet there. Um, why don't I, I'm going to put my email address in the chat. And if anyone has any questions after today, you are more than welcome to reach out to me and uh, let me know if you what questions you have if you want to try a demo of the product i'm happy to set you up with a short-term login so you can try it out with your students Kelly, there was a, the last slide of the um, the slide deck the last oh, slide I, has your 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 then line con, um, contact info it also has uh, customer service so if somebody did want to reach customer service by phone or fast for email all that is there thank you sorry look at me i'm just right back to the beginning of the slides let me just scroll through i forgot okay. about that slide barbara thank you uh so yes my hour at both of our email addresses are here there we are and uh, our customer service uh contact info so take a picture of your screen um and uh reach out to us anytime if you have any uh questions thank you so much for joining us we really appreciate you spending time and we hope that you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. That was fantastic. Thank have you. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye-bye now.